So humble to see you all in Sikhya Kuhiya. I don't know what the people said about me. You may think some of the people said to you that uh, some Guru is coming. But after seeing me you may thinking like he is a college boy. Aging factor, he doesn't have any aging factor. The spirituality doesn't have any time limits. The spirituality doesn't have any body or any gender bias. Okay? Spirituality is all about knowing inside. We have to go very deeper within. Within means you got it right. We have to go inside. You people here coming all the way from your home to pray the God, right? Am I right? This is called the Mandir and we have more statues here which is called Shiva, Parvati and uh, Hanuman, right? If I want to be very frank about spirituality, you have to go through some serious pain into you. Are you ready for it? Because without speaking very honestly, without speaking very frankly, you cannot come to know what is called spirituality. If you really want to know about the truth, I have to speak very loudly, I have to speak very frankly, very honestly. Or else I have second option also. I can speak very politely, I can speak, I can speak by hiding many truths inside me, but you cannot come to know what is called spirituality. See, if I go and sleep today, I cannot assure that I will wake up tomorrow. Am I right? The God may have different plans for me. This is not only for me, this is for you too. So, I want to make sure that, I want to assure that this day should be very meaningful for me, this day should be very truthful for me, especially for me. For that reason only I am asking you, you people are expecting the truth which is called spirituality through me. So I have to speak very clearly and very honestly to make you understand that what is called real spirituality. Devotion means you are seeing the statues. Devotion means you are praying at temples. Devotion means you are doing something but you are not knowing the reasons behind it. You are coming doing like this and praying something like this. What are you doing there? Why are you doing that? There is a question behind that. I am not saying it is wrong. But you, you have to know why we are doing this. That is called wisdom. Jnana. In Tamil we say Jnana. Jnana means wisdom. Each and every people who get human body in this world Our main purpose of this body and the human birth is only to reach the God. Only to reach the God. If you are going home and doing some work, you are taking care of your wife, you are taking care of your husband, you are taking care of your kids, you are going to work, you are earning millions and billions and everything. You are earning the properties. You are doing many things in this world, but I am asking you, is it only your work for all the way you came from higher realms to this earth and doing that kind of things? Do you think like that? Do you think like that? Just to make some channa, just to make some idli, vada, pongal, dosa, puri, you came here to do all those things? I am not saying making food is wrong, but I am asking you, you have to think very clearly, very deeply. Our main purpose of this life is not only to keep cooking, not only to dancing, not only to 
enjoy the entertainment i am not saying anything wrong but you have to ask yourself why am i here you should think even in another way that the thing is in this earth in tamil we say kudan milli bhoomi sevva yaar sani uranus neptune pluto which means nine planets am i right nine planets through this nine planets only the astrologers are predicting the astrology right okay without nine planets and one sun the sun is called star i am speaking very scientifically and connecting the spirituality so that you can understand very easily if i just come and say something like that is this this is that you cannot understand so i am scientifically connecting everything that you itself think very clearly what is called spiritual okay okay there are nine planets and one star which is called sun we are living this family not this family the whole family is called sun family solar system the whole solar system is in milky way galaxy you are thinking only about your home you are thinking only about your parents you are thinking only about your fiance you are thinking only about your kids you are thinking only about your work business and all i am asking there are more planets there are more galaxies even around this universe what should we know about that why should we realize that which means this birth you are having good hands this birth you are having good legs this birth you are having good eyes this birth you are having decent lifestyle this birth you are having good food and everything am i right but you also think very clearly there are more more people who are very poor there are more people who are begging on the roads there are more people who don't have car there are more people who don't even their legs eyes hands and anything did you ever think about that what reason the people are living their life like that we are giving the money we are helping them i appreciate it but you have to think why that is happening which means this birth we are getting now not just like that the father we get not just like that the mother we are getting not just like that the kids we are getting not just like that everything is the perfect calculation of past janma which means pavam and punyam in tamil we say pavam and punyam in english we say good deeds and bad deeds totally it is called karma simple did you ever hear about the newton's third law do you know what is newton's third law there is an equivalent reaction for each and every action which means ஒவ்வொரு செயலுக்கும் அதற்கு சமமான எதிர்வினை உண்டு இன் தமிழ் த ஓல்டஸ்ட் போயட் திருவள்ளுவர் செட்டிட் வெரி கிளியர்லி பிறர் கிண்ணா முற்பகல் செய் தமக்கின்னா பிற்பகல் தாமே வரும் விச் மீன்ஸ் வாட் எவர் யூ டூ தட் வில் கம் டென் டைம்ஸ் பிக்கர் ஆல் தி வே டு யூ ஆல் தி வே ஃபார்வர்ட் டு யூ வாட் எவர் யூ சீ இட் யூ வில் ரீட் த சேம் லைக் தட் if you live this world with utmost care and utmost respect and utmost gnana you will escape from this birth and death cycle or else you will get again next birth and again you will get next birth and again you will get next birth you cannot control or you cannot fulfill or you cannot bear the pain which is being given by the god god means god is not giving you all those pain the activity which you did in the past that is coming all the way to you and hit you very hardly very deeply you really don't know what kind of damage you did to someone that's why i am here the karma says it karma means don't see it as a bad word don't see it as a wrong word karma means it is the reflection of your activity it is the reflection of your thinking 
If you do something bad to other person mentally, you will get more illness mentally. If you do something to other person physically very badly, you will get 10 times more physically and very badly to your physical body. If you do something very badly to other people mentally and physically, 10 times more, you will get the same thing very badly to you. In that way only I am saying, if you are not aware of the karma and if you live this world just like that, definitely you will suffer a lot. The biggest example for that, shall I prove it now? Shall I prove it? Some people may have doubt about the karma and all. Now let me prove that. Shall I? Okay. You have two kids, just assume. For instance, you have two kids. One kid is both kids are male only. First kid you got in 2012, the second kid you got on 2013, for instance, I am saying, okay, both are male kids only. Assume you are a mother, okay. For these two kids, the same father only, right? Same mother only, right? Which means same father and same mother, same sperm also, am I right? Okay. Very biologically I am speaking. But you think within one year old the kids never went outside. They didn't know what is called outside world. Am I right or wrong? Okay. But you see the first kid is reacting completely different. The second kid is reacting completely different. How? How? Actually if the father's sperm is uh, same, if the father's sperm is same and the mother's shronidam, in Tamil we say it, shronidam, which means for male gender we call it bindu, for female gender we call it shronidam, which means both we can say it as same sperm, okay, as of now we say it, same sperm, you are giving birth to the baby, two babies, both are kids, both are male babies only, within one year gap, the kids are reacting very differently, which means a kid, your first kid is being very silent, the second kid is laughing a lot. The first kid is being very secure, the second kid is seeing this world entirely different. How this is happening? You may say me that outside world changed my kid. How can you say that? Which means you are thinking that that is your baby. But the actual truth is that is not your baby. You are a biological mother. You are a biological father. But the Atman, the soul is not yours. Without soul, the body can work. Without electricity, this light will work. Without electricity, this fan will work. With the electricity, with, without electricity, this mind will work. No, right? Same like that, without soul, the body won't work, which means we call it as a dead body. Don't think I am using the negative words in Navaratri time because without seeing the negative deeper side, you cannot come to know what is called truth. Good? Okay. So, you, you clearly understand one thing. This world has serious and severe karmas. Whatever you do, you have to pay for it. Whatever you do, you have to answer for it. The beautiful kid, beautiful fiance, you are getting not just like that. This is the reaction of the thing which you did in the past. Many people are not conceiving the babies. Why? In astrology they say, in fifth place, Purva Punyasthana, if there is a guru, that is called the Brahma Gatti Dosha. Brahma Gatti Dosha means you will not get the baby. In the past Janma, you did something bad to the Gurus for that reaction, for that sin, you are not getting the baby here. So that's why the Guru is sitting in the fifth place. In astrology we say that. I am not an astrologer, but I know a little bit of astrology. Okay? In the same way, you should think one thing very clearly. Whatever you do, you will reap definitely for sure. Same like that. You have to live this life very, very carefully. Very, very carefully means how? I should be aware all the time. How? 
in the sleep pattern how how will you be very very aware you are sleeping how can you be very aware you cannot right there are certain ways which you have to follow to exit from this birth and death cycle or the next birth i cannot assure you will definitely get this human body getting human body is not a small thing this is thousand years of responsibility not 100 years not 200 years getting human birth is very very rare thing once you go out of this body there are more souls waiting outside to enter this body you get it if you go out of this body consciously with the guru's grace you can easily enter again but if you die there are more souls who are waiting outside to take this body because only through this human body only we can experience this world only after experience this world we will come to know what is called good and bad we are see there are five senses okay which is called mei vai kan muk sevi mei vai kan muk sevi means mei body the touch i am touching you you are feeling something right just touch this is called body the second one mouth the taste whatever i give to eat you are tasting it right it is getting stored inside your neurons so firstly i am touching you you are feeling something if i beat you you are feeling something so if i touch you means you are thinking that this is a touch if i beat you like this you are thinking i am beating you am i right so each and everything is getting recorded inside your brain if i give something to taste you are taste it and the taste of the particular material is getting stored inside your brain inside your neurons am i right okay this is called why which means mouth eyes you are seeing some visuals you are seeing me now now my image is getting stored in, into your mind the next day if you see me outside you will easily find me how you are finding through the support of the mind it is collecting the data from inside brain and it is just recalculating everything if this is this ears if this nose if this lips if this eyes is good if this is in the shape you are recalling he is mahavishnu am i right so through eyes you are experiencing this world through each and every vision that you see you are experiencing this world and then the smell through the nose whatever i take near by your nose whatever i give give near by your nose you are smelling something and you are it is getting stored inside your brain am i right five senses and the sound i am speaking you are hearing if there is some bombing you are hearing if there is some sound of peacock if there is some sound of crow if there is some sound of owl you are hearing everything which means these five senses only you are experiencing this world am i right without these five senses you cannot experience this world same like that to reach the god you have to bypass these five senses what should you do to reach the god you have to bypass these five senses which means you have to live your life beyond your five senses gurus and yogis getting diksha to reach the divine how they are doing some severe sadhanas to go beyond these five senses to experience the divine because the soul is the divine experience but to reach the soul you have to kill your own mind i am not saying about the coma stage patient coma stage patient cannot come back but we have the switch when we want to see the god we can put the switch when we want to see this world we can switch off the switch which means we are having the switch to see the god when we don't want to see the god we can easily switch off the switch which means we should have the control to experience this world and that higher dimension each in very very easy way that is called pure wisdom wisdom way wisdom way means 
See, I said right, there are five paths to reach the divine. One is called Sariyai, second one is called Kiriyai, the third one is called Karma Yoga, the third one is called Yoga, the fifth one is called Jnana. Let me explain what these five things are saying. Sariyai means Bhakti. Bhakti means you are coming, doing bhajans and praying the God. I am not saying this is wrong. This is kind of devotion. But if I ask you why are you doing this, you cannot explain. Shall I answer you why are doing this? Shall I tell you or not? Why you people are doing bhajans mean? Why you people are praying the God means to kill the mind only, nothing else. Why should you kill the mind? Which means at the moment of killing your mind, you will feel the peace and ecstasy, the bliss inside you. <coughs> Shall I prove it now? Shall I prove it? While you sing some bhajan, you are going very deeper inside it. Am I right? In highest peak, you are going more, 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 deep and deep and deep and deep. At the point of time, you will forget this place, you will forget your people, you will forget even the bhajan. Immediately you will feel the bliss. Am I right? Because you are not having the intention to sing the bhajan. You want to mingle with the divine only. You are you are getting addicted to the divine. You are not getting addicted to the bhajan. Bhajan means this is a kind of way where you can mingle with the divine. When the mind is getting demolished, you can easily mingle with the divine. So, so through the devotion way in Sariye, in Tamil we say Sariye, which means Bhakti. This Bhakti path, you are singing something, you are praying something, you are chanting the mantras. What is happening apart from that? Which means your mind is getting demolished and immediately you are getting mingled with the divine. Am I right? So you are tasting the essence of the God. At the moment of you forgetting the word, you are feeling the essence of the Lord. When you feel the essence of the Lord, that is called pure happiness. You are getting addicted to that happiness only. Through Kiriye, Kiriye means chanting the mantras. Chanting the mantras, what are you doing? What is happening while you chant the mantras? Did you ever notice it? Om Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Mageshwara, Guru Shachat, Parabrahma, Dashmai, Shri Guru Ve, Namada, what is going? Karpane Kadanda Zodi Garni, Uru Magi, Arpuda Kola Niri Larmari Saratin Mela, Sipirami Yoga Magi, Tirichitram Balakur Mindre, Purpudan, Alamse Yindra Pungaril, Portri Portri, what is going while you chant the mantras? Illa Vilaka, you will get a Purdu Solaga, Vilaka the Zodi Ulade, Palaga, Vilaka the Palaram Kanpade, Nalaga, Vilaka the Namashiva, Yave, Telugu Guru in the remaining on a Telugu Guru in the Ruat, the Gatel. Deliver Guru Vintir Namam Sarpal, Deliver Guru Guru Sindhital Dhani You don't need to understand the meaning of this as of now, I am just saying I am just singing for you to understand what is going while I chant the mantras While I chant the mantra There is a vibration behind it Each and every word has certain vibration, am I right? Each and every word, A, A, I, I, U, U, E, E, I, O, O, A, U, A. What is happening? It is making some kind of vibration inside your body. So the mantras which were written by the enlightened masters and enlightened gurus, it is activating some fundamental nerves and it is pulling some nerves inside you to experience the divine. When you continuously chant the mantra, your mind will vanish. At the point of time, if you say like uh, Om Purbo Shwaga, that Shavido Dvaranyam, Vargo, Deva Shyadi Mahid, Yon, Yona Prashwaga. If you do continuously chant this mantra at the point of time after half an hour or one hour, immediately you will forget where you are. When you forget the place 
when your mind is getting demolished by doing certain things immediately you will, be, you will mingle with the divine whenever you mingle with the divine immediately you will feel the happiness yes god means happiness what god means happiness you are thinking getting married will give you happiness you think like that of course you cannot say no because you may have your partner yes. right to you next to you i can understand but still i have to say the bitter truth i am not saying you should not get married i say you should get married but i am saying you to understand very clearly what is called real happiness am i right the real happiness means you are marrying someone you are thinking that person will give you the happiness but they are not giving you the happiness it is just staying with you for a short time only am i right even if you conceive the baby giving birth to the baby you are thinking that the baby will give you the happiness but the baby is giving you the complete happiness really seriously <laughs> only for short time you are earning crores and crores and crores and crores you are earning millions is this really giving you the happiness after some point you have to keep safe body it that itself will become very stressful job to you am i right to make it double to make it triple to invest in something and to take care of that you have to appoint someone you have to take care of that person also you have to monitor them am i right i am not saying you shouldn't earn money i say you have to earn money you have to earn the car you have to earn the properties but understand you are getting all these material things to get the happiness in the name of ignorance but the thing is this worldly material thing will never give you the complete happiness everything is called short time pleasure only short time pleasure means this world doesn't or don't or never give you the lifelong happiness you have to understand that very clearly only one material that can give the complete happiness is the god or divine do you know what is called god god means g g means generation o o for operation d d for destruction the supreme power which is giving birth which is save something and which is destroy something that power the supreme power is called god you can call it hanuman you can call it vinayaka brahma you can call it allah you can call it kartar you can call it agatya you can call it nature you can call it durga you can call it whatever you want because in whatever form you call the god the god will come all the way to help you because you are always thinking about the durga if i am the god and coming in this body form or coming in the form of the snake will you accept you will get afraid right so the god means energy the supreme energy the supreme energy can come and help you in any form you are putting some name you are putting some name but that name doesn't belongs to god because the god is everything this birth we got only to realize the god only this birth we got only to realize the god only after some time let me give you some short time meditation practice through that practice you can experience the divine for some time okay then you will come to know the power of the sadhanas very easily you can mingle with the divine the main thing the third one first i said it as devotion through devotion you are killing your mind and experience the god the second one is kriya through chanting the mantras you are experiencing the divine that is the second path the third path is karma yoga karma yoga means seva you heard about it in the afternoon i saw some other people here they may have some other work also but they have completely surrendered themselves to this temple right 
and doing some seva to the people who are all coming here to get the blessings. This is not only to earn money. There are, there are in Singapore there are more ways to earn money. Even though the spirituality is the biggest business, if the God should be here, then the God can only see the love and affection of helping other people. We cannot hold the God just just because of having money or just because to earn the money. Okay, so I believe that here there are some good vibration where you can experience the divine and enjoy the divine. I really happy about it. But the thing is, through seva, what is happening? Same like that. I am working something. I am giving free food to someone. What is happening there? While you are giving the food, I am seeing the some other person's face. That person is getting more happy. So my mind is getting demolished. I am getting more happiness. Each and every time I serve others without the intention of getting something back, my mind is getting demolished. So whenever my mind is getting demolished, at that point of time, what is happening? What is happening means that I am experiencing the divine. Through Karma Yoga also, I am clearing my mind for a short time, not completely I am clearing the mind. It is just, it is just getting managed for some seconds, some minutes. But when I come back again to this world, the problem is I am getting the mind again. Again this world is being visible to me and I am getting more pain because of I am having my desires. See, Karma Yoga also we are feeling the mind. The fourth part is Yoga. Yoga means Yetri Yuraki Yirgal Purit Kartra Pudikim Kanakariwala like Kartra Pudikim Kanakariwala Kutra Yurikim Kuriyadwame which means this breathing pattern right we are living in this world through the support of the air only which is called breathing if we stop our breathing we will die but there is a way how to stop your breathing pattern there are certain sadhanas where you can control your breath once you control your breath you can control your mind if you stop your breathing pattern, you can easily stop your mind. But that is called Samadhi. But you should have more guts to, to reach that, that state, to reach that level. So through yogic method, which is called yoga also, easily you can stop your mind. When you stop your mind, you can easily experience the divine. When you do the sadhanas continuously, you will get some meditational experiences, right? Some meditation experience like seeing space, going out of the body and seeing our own body from outside. Sometimes we can easily read other people's mind. That is called Siddhis. Siddhis means the completion of something. Each and every stage you will get some gift from the God itself. That is the gift for your hard work in meditation way. When you do the meditation you will gift from the God. That is called the Siddhis. So when you control your mind when you go here and there, at that time, you will easily get the Siddhis and experience the Divine in some other ways. There are more experiences, I am just saying very, very little bit. But if you do the meditation practice continuously and getting some Diksha from your proper Guru or proper guide, you can easily experience the Divine inside. So through yogic method also you can experience the Divine. The final one is Jnana. Jnana means wisdom. I am speaking something. You may get some answers for your lifelong questions. At that time your mind is going down, right? When your mind is going down, at the moment of completely down, you will experience the divine. That is called Jnana. So there are five ways where you can attain enlightenment. One is devotion, another one is chanting the mantras, the third one is seva, the fourth one is the fourth one is yoga, which means yogic methods. The fifth one is wisdom path. Wisdom path means saying something and understanding something to kill your mind. The fifth one is very very hard and rare because properly enlightened gurus and masters only can do this kind of wisdom path. Devotion you can do, mantra you can chant, seva you can do, yoga also you can do. But how you can speak like an enlightened master? Only the enlightened masters can give you that kind of wisdom to control your mind and then to stop your mind to experience the divine. So you should understand one thing very clearly. Wherever you go, whatever you see, Nikola Tesla, you heard about him? Nikola Tesla, did you heard about him? Yeah. 
the actual founder of the electricity is god okay after god the actual founder of the electricity is nikola tesla okay he already found the ac dc and all he found everything before 100 years itself he found the wifi gun point of time only he left i couldn't find more than this here after the supreme power will help me please god help me okay he is saying that i am saying very saying he is saying that if you really want to know the secrets of this universe what if you really want to know the secrets of this universe you must see everything in the view of frequency vibration and energy which means if you really want to experience something beyond this worldly material things you have to see this world in the view in the pattern of frequency vibration and the energy i am not seeing you as a human body if i see you as a human body i will get attachment if i see you as a human body i will get some erotic feel if i see you as a human body i want to have a relationship with you if i see you as a vibration frequency or energy i will come to know what is going inside you that is the biggest secret in that way only you can easily read other people's mind in that way only easily you can control other people in that way only you can do more miracles because now you are not getting into the body you are getting connected exactly and directly to the soul which is called frequency vibration and energy this is called pure wisdom path this is not my field i am not this kind of person to give this kind of spiritual teachings and all i never I never imagined in my life. I am basically I am a filmmaker. This is not my job. But when I entered some Siddhas Jiva Samadhi, I never know that is a Jiva Samadhi and all. I just went to some waterfall to take a bath. At that time, I went to some place. When I touched that place, the, my whole life was changed. My whole life was changed. I came to know what is happening, what was happening, and what is going to happen. Everything. started to running in my mind i got realized myself and then i really wanted to give this truth to the people who are all living in this world and i have opened my channel which is called paramuru foundation which is available in youtube this is not my job this is not my work i hate the god completely in the past now after i came to know the power of the god after i came to know what is life after i came to know what is going in this world after i came to know what is operating my body after i came to know what i should know then only i had tremendous respect on the god because the god is ultimate the god is tremendous the god is unbeatable the god is unimaginable i am so happy that i am really praising the name of god praising the god being a servant you you don't think i am a god i am just a servant i am just a worker i am just a beggar i am begging something from the god connected to the divine through my sarasra chakra it is getting operated from from the higher realm so i am getting some energy from higher realm and i am just wanting the same thing which is come from the outside we born in this world not only to have sex to roam the world to eat something to earn the money to earn the properties there are more biggest responsibilities beyond that which means once you go out of the body the god won't ask you how many millions did you have in your bank account how many lakhs you had in your garage how many partners you had in your past the god only will ask you what are all your sins what are all your punyas so why you living in this world earn more punyas to reach mukti also there should be any punya that is very biggest and different story your punya should be zero your sin also should be zero then only you can attain moksha and enlightenment even if you have punya you have to take next birth to enjoy that punya if you do more good deeds you may become the prime minister of this country next birth because you have to enjoy this life right so while you live in this world you have to help others that is called seva 
If there is some possible way, get initiated through a good guru. I am not saying you should only get initiation from me. I am saying you have, you have to get the initiation from a proper guru. Do the meditation practice regularly. Do seva. In Tamil we say service or karune or helping others. You can take it whatever. Through helping others and through meditation only, you can mingle with the divine. All this, this world is very, very big. This illusion will give you more pain. You cannot come to the point that this world is nothing. Only through the helping others, only through helping others, only through the meditation practice only, you can cut this birth and death cycle or else you will get next reincarnation. In Tamil we say Marupiravi. This birth itself, we are suffering a lot, we are getting more pain. If you get the next birth, means what will happen? Adi illa yanda milla yagila hengum shivan Anumille pinnumille yarda nari shivan Neeru mille nirpu mille nilai parilam shivan Uyarvu mille thalvu mille nivanagum shivan Shivane 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 Adi illa yanda mille yagila mingum shivan Anumille pinnumille yarda nari shivan Niru mille nirpu mille nilai parilam shivan Uyarvu mille thalvu mille nivanagum shivan